Hey guys, Mr. again for another video today, and uh, we are back with our Winnipeg Jets franchise mode, and in this one we will simulate what I believe to be the second round of the playoffs, uh, now against the St. Louis Blues though, so uh, really quickly before we do this, I do want to see, so, uh, Gustafson, May 3rd, so, so close. May 3rd. Say he uh, returns early. Let's let's go look at the calendar really quickly. We're April 25th right now. And um, almost in May. May 3rd, meaning we could get him back for Game 5. Uh, if he comes back early, we may get him for Game 4. Ooh, I also did not get to see that in the last episode, but St. Louis is actually 4-0. So, this should be an interesting matchup, that's for sure. Now, looking at the team, uh, team's not changing at all. I'm going to keep it the way it is. So, Shifley, Crosby, and Martin, hopefully that line continues to destroy, slash Crosby continues to destroy. Just a quick update on the team, <laughs> that it is that is what it's looking like. Really not great. Um, actually, let's advance a day really quickly to get to game one or to get to the day of game one let's go and do that i do want to see um goalies so man i believe had the worst stats oh no Hendon had the worst stats never mind so yeah we'll keep man in uh and hopefully he can continue to be a beast that he has been because he has been pretty damn good for us uh so far so let's go view lines of the st louis blues Let's uh, not take too long doing this. Let's see. So St. Louis. Ooh, yeesh. All right. So we've got a top line of Philip Forsberg with Jake Gwensel and Vladimir Tarasenko. That's a pretty damn good line. Uh, Forsberg, the only point-per-game player on that line. Second line, they have Gabriel Landeskog, though, with A.J. Piper and Stephen Hines. It's a pretty good second line, too. Third line, Pavel Zharkov. Mark Jankowski and Henrik Persons. Uh, and then on the fourth line, Damian Gabranson with Joshua Kamiski, who is a 70 overall, but has two points, and Russ Shanti. So I forgot about this team because, yeah, their left wings are absolutely unreal. I don't know how I forgot about that. Looking at their defense, not the most impressed, uh, or not, and definitely not the best defense, that's for sure, as well. Um, but yeah, so the top pair, they've got Keith Betts with Brandon, I almost said Brando Carlo, uh, Brandon Carlo, and then Jakob Zaborl with Jeff Shirelli, um, and pretty okay, top four, and then their bottom pair of Pap Oil with Alan Lashoff, who is a 74 overall, so we'll see how that goes, but they have Andre Vasilevsky in net, so that should be interesting, you see Varakas or Varakis as the backup. So um, players right now uh, that are scratch aren't great. Who they must have someone injured. There's no way that is their fourth line center. Don't remember his name, but uh, there is no way that is their fourth line center. So let's go and see. I didn't mean to go to roster moves. I meant to go down um, to the injury report. There we go. Let's go look. At this really quickly um, st. Louis uh, they don't have anybody injured apparently so interesting just gonna refresh it yeah no so their fourth line center is a 70 overall which really is not good which is crazy to me um but uh, yeah I mean let's get right into this might as well start this uh, relatively quickly into the episode so, game number one, period number one, let's see how it goes, we have home ice advantage, let's see, first period, alright, goals on each side, one by Dixon, and then one by Piper, so, um, yeah, 1-1, one, 12-7 one, uh, to seven were the shots for us, we now head into the second period, and uh, we'll see how that goes. So, second period now. We got the only goals in that period. And Barker and Angle, the goal scorers. And it is 3-1 for us right now. 
we head to the third, up by two goals and up by four shots on the shot counter as well. And, uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, looking pretty good so far as we come to the last half of the third period. We're still up by those two goals. Never mind, Gabriel Landeskog makes it a one-goal game. And, uh, come on, can we hold on? Ah, uh, yes, we can. So we hold on to get the win in game one. Uh, not too bad. Unlikely goal scores in that one, that's for sure. Two two of them? might, Or what's three of them? Defense. Don't remember, to be honest. Um, I know two of them were for sure, so that's interesting. Um, but, yeah, we'll simulate to game number two now. Uh, um, yeah, so we'll see how this goes. Game number two, again... Uh, we'll just hop right in, and uh, we'll see how this goes. So, first period of game two. Uh, all right, Johan, or Yo, was it Johan? Yeah, Johan Pearson scored the only goal of the first 20 minutes. And, um, yeah, not bad. one nothing heading into the second. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, looking like a pretty solid period from Winnipeg there. Out shooting them 10-7, to and we we're... Uh, and we have the lead, so that's pretty damn good if you ask me. Now let's go, uh, second period. Come on. All right, the only goals in the period went to St. Louis, and it was Forsberg and Jeanty. So it is now 2-1 for the Blues, although they are still trailing in shots. Um, yeah, so we head to the third, trailing by one, although we definitely kept, came from behind. Uh, farther than that before so hopefully we can do it in this third period we had a power play opportunity but weren't able to score on the power play we have another opportunity on the PP which again not able to uh, not able to score on and we have another chance but not looking too good as we come down to the last couple of minutes and Marshall Belak with the tying goal on Varakis, uh 36 seconds in or not 36 seconds in with the last 30 seconds of the period uh, <laughs> nice nice uh, that's good <laughs> so uh, it is 2-2 and we head to overtime out shooting them 36 to 25 lop into the OT period now we have a power play come on one day our power play will get it done we have over 40 shots now. We are dominating dominating them so far in this overtime period, but both goalies standing strong and uh, making some saves. So there we go. That is the first overtime period now over, and we head to the second one, which it will end early. We have 50 shots right now. Um, yeah, that overtime period and I think we scored a shorthanded goal. Brandon McKenzie. <laughs> I want to say potential uh, future captain. I mean, that's definitely a possibility. We got a penalty, then Shirelli got one for roughing uh, at 841, and then we scored at, or not 841, at 1841, then we scored at 1844. How does that make sense? Um, I, you know what? That's okay. On our 51st shot of the night, we scored the game winner. That is crazy. Vasilevsky with 31 saves. I wonder what happened to him. But yeah, he did great, really. And then Varakis did good, too. McKenzie with the game-winning goal and three hits. Ah, uh, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. So that's good. As Marshall Belak has been injured until... May 6th, which is no good, that's for sure. Crosby's up to an 83, man, what a beast. Um, so, should we go with Goring, or should we go with Sabotal? Um, Goring has played how many games? He's played three games and yet to get a point. I feel like maybe I should go with uh, Piero Zabotal. Did I say Piero Zabotal? I meant to say Piero Zabotal. He uh, didn't get to play in the playoffs yet, so we're going to try him out here, because why not? Who do we want our centerman to be? An actual center in Winkler, and then Zabotel gets to play in his natural position as well. So we'll try that out. Uh, not too bad. All right, sim up to the day of the 
uh, game number three, uh, or of game number three, not ga the game three. It's not really that big of a deal. Uh, Josh Martin now with eight points in nine, ga nine games. In nine games, he's doing pretty damn good. Um, let's see, though, how game number three goes. Now this time in St. Louis. Hopefully we can continue the win streak. And, uh, uh, yeah, hopefully it doesn't come to an end. Let's go first period. The only goal goes to the Winnipeg Jets, and we scored from half ice uh, from the wrong side of the half, I believe. Manny Messier with the only goal of the period, and Varakis is in net still. Vasilevsky must have gotten injured, which is not good for St. Louis, although Varakis has done good. That is still not good for St. Louis. Second, oh wow, we held them to only two shots that period. Shots were 12-2 to two for, <laughs> for us. Wow, okay. Second period now. Ooh, lots of goals in the second. Crosby opened up the scoring in the second. Then Hines and Pearson, who brought, up, or brought them to a tie game. Then our future captain and Isaac Leopold in the net. Um, in the net scored from... Uh, uh, or in the net, he basically scored from the goal line to get re give us the lead and uh Pearson actually scored from center ice on man so that's unfortunate so in this game both teams have scored from around the center ice uh stage which is kind of ridiculous uh good period though from St. Louis they had 12 shots so way to rede redeem themselves there shots 21 to 14 now and uh we head to the third up by one score currently 3-2 we are still out shooting them as well, though I'm pretty sure I did say that, although I don't remember, to be honest. And Cedric Franzen makes it 4-2. Uh, we just surpassed 30 shots as well. And, uh, yeah, uh, there, yeah, I mean, three minutes left, and we should be good. Isaac Leopold with the second of the game, another, um, I almost said another half quarter. <laughs> nope, another half ice goal. Um... Half ice? No. Yeah, half ice, yeah. Three goals that came coming from the half, which is absolutely ridiculous. Leopold with two goals and an assist. Franz with a goal and two assists. Then Messi with a goal and an assist. So our top line did good in that game, clearly, which is really good because Leopold didn't have the greatest uh, greatest playoffs in last season. He hopefully will have a better one this, year's, this season. And we're coming up to the third I think we should get Gustafson back for the second. There it is. He has recovered from the injury. I just saw the notification. <laughs> Man, I got a big smile on my face right now. That is awesome. Awesome? Awesome. awesome. Sven Gustafson is fully healed and ready to be playing in the NHL again. Hentinen will be the one taken out. Now, I'm sorry to man... Uh, man isn't going to be starting, although he still has really good stats for us. It is Gustafson's goal now. Gustafson will be the player, uh, will be the player to hopefully lead us to the second round. But uh, we'll see. Now, really quickly, I want to go see uh, what Vasilevsky got injured with. So uh, Belak, he's actually going to be out for a long time because he's still pending evaluation. Although it did say May sixth, did it not? Oh, it said May 6th. Uh, Vasilevsky injured until May 5th. So, assuming they do force a game five, they will have Vasilevsky back in net, which will more than like, well, they should at least, not a guarantee, but that would really help them out, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I didn't mean to do this. What am I doing? Um, I'll exit out of that, because I, like I said, didn't mean to do that. Um, yeah, so let's go and uh, simulate the game, as, as I meant to do. And hopefully uh, this will then go over well. Tarasenko took a face-off, and Leopold, 15 seconds in, scored a goal. Nice. <laughs> On the first shot of the game, Arrakis let one by him. That was a far shot, too. All right, boys, first period now. So the only goal was Leopold's goal on the very first shot of the period and 15 seconds in as well. Uh, shots are actually 12 to 11, and that was for St. Louis. And I think that is one of the only times St. Louis has outshot us in a period, which is kind of crazy. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, let's head to the second period now. Come on, boys. All right, we get another one. Bryce Angle, I believe it is Bryce, uh, gets the second goal of the game, and it is for us again. Shots are 26 to 18 in favor of St. Louis. So are we ever getting out shot right now? Sorry about all that noise, though. Someone just got home. Um, yeah, I, I guaranteed, I know you guys could hear that. But let's slow sim the third period. Um, yeah, there we go. Let's uh, slow sim the third. And hopefully we will sweep the St. Louis Blues. Uh, maybe if Vasilevsky hadn't got injured, it would have been a different story. Although Zharkov doesn't have... Uh, okay, I was going to say Zharkov has something to say about it. And Ehlers and Crosby scores, and it is now 4-1 in favor of Winnipeg with 43 seconds remaining. And we will move on to the Western Conference Finals with uh, this team. Gustafson, in the game that he returns at, gets uh, a 34 save performance with a 971 save percentage. Two players on our top line with a goal and an assist. Wow. Leopold also had five hits, so what a beast he was in that game. But yeah, boys, after the uh, St. Louis Blues sweeping in the first round, they then got swept in the second round, which is quite funny if you ask me. Um, let's continuously advance days to see who we'll uh, be facing in the uh, Western Conference Finals. Will it be Anaheim? I don't know yet. Anaheim or Vegas? Uh, it will be Anaheim, so Anaheim won in five games. Now, I'm going to go and see the stats really quickly. Player stats, let's go and look at these. Uh, for the playoffs, so Crosby with 10 points, Leopold with 10 points, and Martin with 10 points. Yeah, Martin is actually doing really good. Uh, Ehlers with 8 points, which isn't too bad. He's got a lot of assists. Uh, Pearson with 6, Murray with 6. Franzen with only six, so looking to be like he's definitely better in the regular season than the playoffs, although maybe he could uh, really pick it up in this next series. Hopefully McKenzie, speaking of, he could pick it up. He's now listed as a low top four, so he's actually coming to the end of his growth like very, very shortly. Shifley with four, Dixon with four, Messier with three in only eight games because he did miss some time. Uh, Bielak had two goals in nine games. The Bodle has an assist in those two games that he's played, so that's not bad. And let's go check the goal. He's hinted into it. Absolutely horrendous for us. But man, a really held in for us to bring us some wins and bring us a lot of wins to be fair. And then Gustafson now uh, uh, now that he's back, I'm not too worried about who we go up against no matter what. Uh, but that is going to be it from me in this one, guys. It obviously was a short one, but, uh, yeah, I mean, well, it actually wasn't that short. I thought it was a lot shorter than that. Uh, but, yeah, that is going to be it from me, guys, in this one. Marshall Belak is also ready to come back for the Anaheim series, which is definitely nice. Um, but, yeah, guys, that is going to be it from me. Hopefully you all did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.